in today's world, the number one disease that causes a lot of deaths in Malaysia is the ischemic heart disease. The ischemia is defined as insufficient blood vessel to the located area as a result of a blockage of the blood vessel supplying to it at the area. So ischemic. Ischemic means that when an organ, for example, the heart or any the liver or the lung, is not receiving an adequate blood and oxygen. So ischemic heart disease, also known as a coronary heart disease or a coronary artery disease, refer to a heart problem caused by the narrowing of the coronary arteries which supply blood to the heart muscles. Although a blood clot or a constriction of the blood vessel can cause the narrowing, a plaque buildout known as arteriosclerosis from bad diet or bad daily exercise is the most common cause. So when the blood vessel to the heart muscle is completely blocked, the heart muscle cells dies, resulting in a heart attack and which can result to death, also known as a myocardial infection. So when symptoms are experienced, when someone has experienced some symptoms of a heart attack, you need to go for the health checkup to make sure that they, their blood flow is working normally, it's working perfectly so that they, they can live longer. But how? When they go to the hospital, how do they check the blood vessel? We are located very deep inside our human body. So that's where the digital subtraction and geography or DSA came in clutch. So why this uh, DSA is introduced? For uh, imaging a blood vessel, the standard radiograph do not show any of the blood vessel because the difference in the extra attenuation between the blood and the surrounding tissues is too small to be detected. In order to make the lumen of the vessel visible by our human eye, a contrast media or water soluble compound containing iodine must be introduced in the uh, vessel and with the DSA or digital subtraction angiography post image processing the unwanted surrounding soft tissue can be subtracted and only the wanted vessel are visualized this is not only for the heart this is can be anywhere in the body so DSA require a mass image with an image that before the administration of the contrast media to be taken first and then the administration of the contrast media and with the administration of the contrast media which post contrast image can be subtracted and the image will be produced assuming that there is no motion, subject motion occur between these two image this method will achieve complete cancellation of a soft tissue and bone and leaving only the iodinated blood vessels to be visualized now let's talk about the specification of the machine first the x-ray system generator is powered up with a high frequency generator power ratings 100 kilo dual focus x-ray tube and the digital imaging system it uses a flat detector digital system with a 1920 times 2048 matrix with a frame rate from 0.5 to 15 frames per second as for the software included the facility for age enhancement positive negative image display windowing contrast brightness electronic shuttering image pixel shifting vertical and horizontal image reversal and zoom functions Automatics and interactive detection of lesions and stenosis quantification. As for the image display system, consists of four 19-inch TFT flat monitors, two in angel room and two on console for live and reference image display. The control console include all system movement of C arm, table image display, image review, and image post processing and quantification control both by the operator at the table in the engine room and in the console room. This machine also use system for recording in digital imaging and communication in medicine DICOM 3.0 or high version. A CR motorized with angulation of 120 degrees floor mounted table with carbon fiber tabletop and swivel capability. The tabletop is equipped with gantry controls, table system controls, collimation controls, and optional intravenous poles. Brothers and sisters, DSA is indeed one of the magnificent advancements in medical fields as it gives a lot of advantage to us in diagnosis and treating the patients. But what differs DSA from other medical machines? So, in previous years, it is difficult for health practitioners to view the blockage of blood in overlapping tissues, such as in the brain. 
However, as DSA was introduced, it helps in detecting problems with blood flow by providing an image of the blood vessels in the brain, the inner lumen of blood vessels, including arteries, veins, and heart chambers, without interfering shadows from overlapping tissues. The vessels are clearly visualized without obstruction, which it helps in providing more accurate diagnosis of the pathology. Next, DSA is useful for diagnosis of arterial and venous occlusions, which including character artery stenosis, pulmonary embolism, and ischemia. As mentioned by Brother Hazik previously, ischemic heart disease leads to the highest rate of mortality in Malaysia. So, this is why DSA is really, really important and is chosen as the gold standard in detecting variety of blood vessel disease as it offers high special resolution for the confirmation of the blood level blockage. As the technology becomes more advanced, DSA also been upgraded in the identification of cerebral aneurysm, three-dimensional digital subtraction and geography or 3D DSA has successfully replaced the conventional DSA which is the 2D DSA and now has become the new gold standard. With this advancement in DSA technology, it helps in viewing the blood flow more clearly and precisely. Aneurysm next in 3D DSA was shown to be substantially larger than those in 2D DSA. The relationship of the aneurysm neck to surrounding vessels were clearly visible compared to in 2D DSA. However, there was no significant difference in the aneurysm size found between the 3D and 2D DSA. According to Wong et al., beside the clear view of blood vessel, the usage of contrast medium with lower amount of dosage were used in DSA. The speciality of DSA is that sub the subtraction images can be viewed in real time, which gives shorter procedural time compared to the previous intervention. The last advantage of our machine DSA is that DSA improves the accuracy of nerve blocks compared to fluoroscopy and it may enhance the use of radio and the accuracy of the clinical interpretation. As I mentioned earlier from the start, DSA is a powerful fluoroscopy technique which clearly visualizes the blood arteries, especially visualizing the presence of blockage. So, to achieve this, high contrast structures such as soft tissues and bones were removed in order to see the radiographic contrast media in the blood vessels. This removal is done by using time, temporal substration, and energy, which is energy substrations. As a result, high-resolution radiographic images were obtained by using this DSA. DSA is a useful technique for assessing blood vessels in X-ray image. However, the patient's movement makes DSA prone to cause artifacts on the radiographic image. There are two advancements in digital substration and geography which are virtual DSA employee multism flash based remit and digital variance and geography, which is a technological discovery. Virtual DVA is a new approach that generates a DSA image from a single live image without substituting the mass image. You know, a deep learning architecture was used to develop the purpose virtual DSA method by feeding a single live image into unit. The suggested method generated a virtual DSA image that only contained the extracted blood vessels. Unit using a patch based approach to extract the blood vessels more accurately. Each zone was assigned to a distinct network in order to make use of the local data. Unnecessary components including bones and organs were removed and blood arteries were accurately extracted using a multism patch based unit. The purpose method is a useful strategy for blood vessel extraction with great accuracy from image of various anatomical parts and modalities using digital various and geography DBA, a new discovery recently medical image processing approach based on the principle of kinetic imaging is said to extract more information from penetrating radiation image. Improved image quality could be used to successfully manage those radiation and contrast media reduction without affecting image clinical accuracy. The method estimates the standard deviation of each pixel position in an image series and is based on the concept of kinetic imaging. Kinetic imaging was developed to obtain more information from medical examinations using penetrating radiation. The advanced statistical processing of intensity values provides additional information thereby improve image quality. Application of the principle to angiography led to the development of digital variance angiography, 
In 2020, Orias and other researchers conducted a research called Initial Evidence of a 50% Reduction of Contrast Media Using Digital Variance Angiography in Endovascular Keratic Intervention So, uh, as we know, the DVA does not use a mask as the DSA but calculates standard deviation, variance and other time-derived perimeters of the X-ray attenuation for every pixel in an unsubtracted image series. This algorithm enhances the functional motion related information, in example the flow of contrast agents but suppresses the noise, therefore the SNR, the signal to noise ratio and consequently image quality is greatly improved. Recently, the functional and dynastic capabilities of DVA were evaluated in clinical trials and DVA provided higher SNR and better image quality than DSA in lower limb ICM and carbon dioxide angiography. The DVA images were generated retrospectively by the Kinepic Medical Imaging Tool version 2.0 from raw image data obtained from the angiography system. Method specific post processing features uh, such as brightness, contrast adjustment, and pixel shift offered by the Kinepic Medical Imaging Tool version 2.0 were applied to reach the best image quality. In these images, the DVA provides significantly higher SNR and better subjective image quality in keratic X-ray and geography than the current mm -hmm. standard DSA. This quality reserve of DVA allows a very substantial 50% ICM reduction without affecting the quality and dynastic value of angiograms. So the minimization of the amount of ICM improve the safety of the procedure by reducing the risk of adverse event and provide significant economic advantage by reducing the direct cost of ICM and decreasing the cumulative cost of treatment following ICM associated complications. So with our newest and latest technology, we hope that it can help more and more hospital to use it to the best it can to make sure to make more accurate diagnosis without any error in the performing the procedure to save someone's life. We, we believe that our product can still improve to ensure that the best diagnosis for everyone. Although the equipment in your hospital can still be used, I'm not arguing with that. Those uh, old technology can still be used today, but our new technology is promising almost zero false positive when diagnosis a patient. So we hope that with our new improved equipment, we can help everyone, including the doctors, to make sure that the doctor's workflow flow a lot more easier and a lot more efficient and hope that more life can be saved. Because we believe that from our testing and all the experimenting, we are confident that with this new innovation, it's way far more better than the one that have been used before. Thank you.